I'm going to show you how to install PHP on your Windows computer so that you can develop PHP websites. It's very easy because of a tool called ZAMP. And to get ZAMP, you need to download a file and unzip it. So I'm going to show you how to get a free unzip program. Just Google for download 7-zip. It's called 7-zip. And although you may already have a zip program, this is one with a lot more features and it's free. It's one of my favorite little tools. So click on download. On this page, you'll get a little pop-up which allows you to save a file. It'll be downloaded. We got the MSI file. Let's go ahead and right click, open it. And next, accept all the terms, next, next, install. And there's nothing more to it. Now we can go get ZAMP. ZAMP is at the website www.apachefriends.org, not .com. And when you're there, since we're installing it on Windows, I'm gonna click on ZAMP and then go down to ZAMP for Windows and you'll see the download for ZAMP. You can read what exactly you're getting in ZAMP. This is everything you need to develop PHP websites. And you'll notice here the version of the website 5.3. That's the newest version as of today. And you just need to click on the download link. You want to get the zip archive right here. And when the window pops up, go ahead and save the file and that will download for a while. You can also get something called ZAMP Lite, which is much smaller if you have size limitations or if you don't want it to always start up when you start your computer up. But I always download this version of ZAMP because it allows you to install it as a service and then when you turn on your computer, the Apache server is running and you're always ready to go to run your PHP websites. So now ZAMP is almost downloaded. It may take a little bit depending on what kind of connection you have, but it's in any case, it's better than installing everything manually, which might take an hour or two hours to get all of the little tweaks right. ZAMP does it all for you in one nice install. So now we want to unzip the ZAMP zip file. And here is where there's a tricky part so you have to do this right. Say extract files, then just type C colon backslash. And it's very important that you put the backslash there so that it's put into a subdirectory called ZAMP on the C root directory. Click OK and it will unzip everything in C ZAMP. And that's where it's now copying Apache, PHP, MySQL, PHP MyAdmin, Perl, and all of the other tools that you need to develop PHP websites. You don't need to worry about all of the details and everything that it's installing. I'll show you just what you have to do to get PHP running on your computer. And basically the download and the unzip and the install, if you have a fast connection, you can be up and running on a new computer with PHP development within five minutes. It's, uh, ZAMP is a very nice tool. Before ZAMP, you had to install everything manually. And that sometimes took an hour to two hours if you did everything right. If you didn't, maybe a couple of days until you got all of the little configurations right. So even though ZAMP is very large and takes a while to unzip and download, it, in the end, saves a lot of time for PHP developers. So we have now unzipped everything. And now if you just go to C, you will see a folder there called ZAMP. You now want to double click on the ZAMP directory and look for a setup ZAMP bat file. Go ahead and double click that and answer all of the questions. Should I add shortcuts to the start menu desktop? Yes. Should I proceed? Yes. Your choice is, should I make a portable ZAMP without drive letters? No. Just answer all of the default answers and you should be all right. ZAMP is ready to use, that's very good news. Press return. I have set the time zone in PHP any to Europe Paris, that's fine. It should be different for everybody depending on where you live. And now what you want to do is do choice number one, start ZAMP control panel. 
and you will see in your lower right corner of your screen this panel. Now, what you want to do is click on the checkbox for Apache, click OK to install the Apache service. This means that it will start up when you boot Windows so that Apache and MySQL will always be there. Go ahead and click OK on both of those. And then here say Start. And go ahead and start MySQL as well. These are the only two we'll be starting now. And so let's see if Apache is running. We'll just type in here localhost. That means the web server on your own computer, which is now Apache. And we get the XAMPP startup screen, which is very good. Now let's test if PHP is running. And to do that, we need to make a PHP file. I'll do window E to get my explorer here. We need to find where the files are. If you go into C XAMPP and then into htdocs, you'll see that we're looking at this file right now here. Splash. Actually, we're looking at this file here, splash right here, because it's in XAMPP. So what we're going to do is go back here and make a file, new text file, call it test PHP, enter, yes. And we'll just edit it in Notepad. And we'll write our PHP file. Always put the PHP at the top there. And we'll do print hello world. The time is now. And we'll do a dynamic time so we can see that PHP is actually working. And we have a dynamic page. This is hours, minutes, and seconds. So we'll save it. Control S. And now this is called test. PHP, it's in XAMPP htdocs. So htdocs is where that maps to localhost. We'll type test PHP and we see that the page is dynamic. I'm pressing F5 and the time is changing. So we've been successful. We've installed everything that we need using XAMPP so that we can develop PHP websites on our computer.